I'm James. I'm 17. And I'm pretty sure I'm a psychopath. When I was nine, I put my hand in a deep fat fryer. I wanted to make myself feel something. School was beneath me, but it was a good place for observation and selection. I had a plan. I was going to kill someone. Hey. I've seen you skating. You're pretty shit. Fuck off. Working all day with my mind on fire. I can't stop thinking of you. I kind of think I could fall in love with him. I thought she could be interesting to kill, so I pretended to fall in love with her. Walking all day with my feet on. This is nice. What is? I thought probably he was gay. You does prick. Let's leave this shit whole town. I'm going whether you come with me or not. You in? I didn't know where we were going or when I was going to kill her. I punched my dad in the face and stole his car, and that felt like a good place to start. We can literally do anything. Do you want to go on a date? I will have a banana split and an extra fucking spoon. Sorry, that's it, right? Marvin! Oh, yeah, see if Marvin can make a banana split for me, you fucking... Bye, Marvin! Seemed that Alyssa had some issues. Keep on working. I feel safe with James. Being with Alyssa had started to make me feel You safe. always ask me and make me answer questions today. I'm asking you the questions. Oh... Not really, just that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lucky Dog Podcast. This is your host, Elias Roush, and... Kelly Pruitt. Hey Kelly. Hello. How are you doing? Fantastic. What you been up to this weekend? Let's see. Went to your grandfather's birthday party. Oh yeah, yeah. 95. Yeah, the big 95. Uh, Gramps just turned 95. He's still... Still doing well. Doing fantastic. And then I worked yesterday and that's it? Yeah. What have you done this weekend? Well, you know, we had a couple family birthday celebrations and so we've been kind of busy doing that in between uh, reviewing and whatnot. Uh, we actually came around to the end... I was going to let you finish. No, I don't want oh. to... <laughs> oh my god. The end of... Of the fucking world. Mm-hmm. We finished it last night, right? Right. I feel like I should have rewatched it before this, but you well, know. that was actually my second time watching it. I finished it the other night. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, I fell didn't asleep. Make, Kelly didn't make it. It was a late night. She's always about <laughs> the late nights. I always fall asleep. Yeah, it it hits that past nine o'clock, and she's just like out like a light. <laughs> just look at it. Well, um. So since you've got to see it twice, what did you think about the end of season one? Of uh, the end of the fucking world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to start the spoiler section. There's no spoiler free section, because I mean, we already talked about it pretty much spoiler free in the first yeah. in the first half. But uh, I'd say overall, as a, as a show... I really liked it. I I enjoyed it as an experience. Um, it it's kind of you can't compare it to many things because uh, they have these ten hour episode seasons now that feel like long movies, mm-hmm. but all of those episodes are an hour. This show has has uh, twenty minute episodes. And there's, you know, you can finish it in like two hours, two or three hours. Hmm. Right? Yeah. So, this feels more like a short form movie as a, compared to a long form 10 hour movie. You know, like a, a Mr. Robot's 10 hours, The Leftovers 10 hours, Game of Thrones, I think 10 hours. All those are just, they feel like long form movies. Uh, Downton Abbey. Yeah. Nine episodes. They, they kind of feel like longer movies. This feels like a condensed movie kind of like I said at the beginning yeah so <clears throat> uh, I'd say the form works I really like the form the uh, the plotting and well I'm not gonna go into the plotting yet editing the editing in it editing in the majority of the front half of the season pretty phenomenal and it kept you on your toes always was splicing crazy things in they you quit know, doing that right I think they did and I think that I, thought, I liked it yeah it, it uh, kind of it, it made you put down your phone and pay attention, right? Yeah, you had to. <laughs> because if you 
if you weren't looking, you would miss it. And then you're like, what? Hold on, what just happened? Those damn millennials. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, <laughs> uh, the, uh, taking out the, um, what did you just call it? The editing, splicing uh, crazy things in of James visualizing things he was going to do to Alyssa. Yeah. Completely dropped. Um, and I guess it spliced like one once or twice an episode toward the end. But uh, let me think. The comedy dramedy aspect, the uh, the dramedy. The front half was clearly like a black comedy, you know, mm-hmm. like. It, it was kind of funny, but it was also kind of fucked up. But, you know, there was also some dark things that were going to happen. Yeah. I had talked earlier in an earlier podcast about the uh, the dark aspects we would probably find out with his parents and his mom. Mm-hmm. Didn't find out too much about that. You know, just kind of found out she had some problems. Did we? Yeah, we, don't, we never found out, like, why she was... Well, we can talk about it, right? Yeah, we're in spoiler section. So we don't know why she was suicidal, why she decided to kill herself. Right. When I thought at the beginning of it, I thought the reason she was like that is because of how he was violent towards animals and things. You thought it was because of James? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I you had guessed that she might have already known. But the, I didn't feel any, there was any implication that she had known. Well, maybe she didn't, but also, the day that she killed herself, he was like, I need to feed the ducks. Yeah. So, he was kind to animals. It, so, was it maybe brought his, to attention that he was violent towards animals after she killed herself? I think that's what caused it. Okay. That would make sense. That would make more sense. Um, That would cause him to have, like, a, a crack or a break or, you know, something in his psyche yeah um yeah because all of a sudden he hated everything i guess yeah and he said he wanted to feel something yeah do you think do you think that entire i wanted to feel something episode him putting the hand in his fryer is after his mom yeah it was was that clear it's clear i think it's clear clear now yeah yeah um so yeah i it wasn't spelled out for the average viewer, but uh, that's what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it is interesting, though, uh, the the way it was uh, presented to the audience. Yeah. So, like I said, the eight episodes as a whole have a completely two-tonal shifts in it. First half is, you know kind of comedy and it shifts around the fifth or sixth episode right yeah to i'd say five five when they finally meet back up in that diner right five uh is that five i think it's five uh i can't call I, i don't know exactly which one it is but uh they meet back up in the diner and the tone shifts and not only does the tone shift but also the editing, the cinematography, the way it's shot, you know, the, the way it's shot. Yeah. Um, the music cues are a little bit different. Um, it, it does feel like a different show. And actually, I looked up two different people. I, uh, I'm going to look up their, their last names again, but I know this show was directed by two different people. So you're talking about the directors? Right. Um, One of them was Lucy, right? Right. I'm going to look up their last name. John? Oh, Lord. Jonathan in Twistle? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry about that, man. If you're listening. (laughs) Let me see. (laughs) And Lucy, turn, turn it, turn it, turn it (laughs) now. Oh, my Lord. Can someone, oh, my back. (laughs) Oh, I'm sorry about that. We'll call him Jonathan. (laughs) Jonathan. They're, I can't pronounce it either. Yeah, no, we're I'm not even we're, we're so screwed on I'm that. I'm glad you tried. We're sorry about that. And so we are out of the out of the loop, and we have no idea how to pronounce these names. And we would, uh, if someone knows how to pronounce these names, we would love please to correct. Yeah, 
Please help. Yes. Please help. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, someone help me. <laughs> okay, so, so any, anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we fucked up. What is up. her name? What's her real name? Uh, uh, hold on. So we're going to go call the directors Jonathan and Lucy, okay? Um, the main actors are uh, Jessica Barden mm-hmm. and Alex Lothar. Uh, I've seen James, the guy that plays James, in uh, a Black Mirror episode. Mm. I think he was in an episode... Season 2, maybe? 2 or 3. I don't know. He was in a crazy episode of Black Mirror. I and think you, you told me about it. Yeah, it, it, it's worth a, worth a look, but there's kind of a little twist on it. There's always a little twist on those. But anyways, the plotting and structure of the end of the fucking world does change around episode five and so the first four episodes are directed by jonathan uh what's his name and then around the fifth episode lucy takes over the wheel with jonathan they direct the same i think they directed the same episode around five and uh i think it's five let me check yes they they when they meet back up, like you yep. said, in episode five... They meet back at the diner. Jonathan hands the wheel to Lucy, and the tone shifts. You can kind of tell. Yeah. Uh, it shifts for... I don't know if you want to say for the better or the worse. I think one of the strongest episodes was the episode six, right after. But I didn't... I was not... Uh, uh, I, I wish they had co-directed the last... Three, ep- three or four episodes together, you know? Why? I think the strongest episodes were the beginning. And I think I don't know what Jonathan... That was only him, right? Right. I don't know what Jonathan was bringing. Now, I'm all for more women directors. There's not many women directors out there, you know? Bring as many as we can. But I don't know what Jonathan was bringing. The, the cinematography, the, the energy he was bringing from... I don't know if it was the writing or the, the plotting. And I think it turned more into just a drama when she took over. But, w- yeah, when she took over, it turned in... Turned into what I would say uh, an average uh, indie indie movie or, tele- or kind of television show would look like, you know, kind of upscale television show. Mm-hmm. But it didn't feel like it was shot by the same guy. Mm-hmm. Did what, would you, what do you think about that? No, I, you can definitely tell when it changes. Yeah, and... To me. Um, do you think it's for the better or the worse? Um... I mean, I like how it ended, and I'm glad that it didn't exactly end on like a... I'm glad it ended on a more dramatic note than a funny one. Right. So, I like it. I like that it changed. I wouldn't say it was probably for the better, because there's probably plenty of people who would have rather it stayed the same. Right. I, uh... You see, I thought the first half had a, a good balancing act. Like... Yeah. It was... It was the just the right amount of dark, and the just the right amount of uh kind of kind of kookiness yeah. comedy like black comedy it was like and it kind of shuffled between those but once it hit after episode six after we lost all frodo yeah who we saw for a whole three oh. minutes he, I, I really liked Frodo. He got some. I didn't. He, he seemed really weird. He got some good airtime. I had no idea he was going to make such an impact. I, I feel like I've seen him in something before. He, we probably have. He he looks like a uh, a character we're going to see again. If up. if we uh, let me see. I've never seen him in anything. He's in two. Th- this is his second role. Frodo, I think we're gonna see you again, buddy. <laughs> what was he in? Uh, Born to Kill, by <laughs> Oscar. Hmm. But anyways, uh, yeah, I think one of the strongest episodes was episode six, directed by Lucy. What's her name? And. And just say Lucy, baby. Quit saying Lucy. What's her name? Uh, uh okay, okay. Uh, I think one of the strongest episodes was uh directed by Lucy, mm-hmm. and I hope we can get more episodes like that because it was the right amount of suspense, comedy, and drama that we needed. 
Yeah. And we, I, I, I think we lost that around right after that. Right after we lost all Frodo. I don't know. Some of the stuff with her dad was funny. Yeah, I thought, like, there was some good... There could have been a little bit more. Like, some good uh, back and forth uh, dialogue and stuff like that. Yeah. With, with them. But it just... Uh, it fell flat around halfway through the episode. Around seven. For me. Yeah. And... Uh, you know, I enjoyed the knife throwing and everything, but like you, I think you said, like when he started talking like Gandhi, yeah, talking out his ass, <laughs> talking out, his, yeah. out oh, just checked out. Uh, the the actor that played it played him reminded me so much of the guy on Game of Thrones that plays Littlefinger, and he's uh, uh he is just uh, one of those. Funny looking dudes that. Yeah, it's kind of raggedy in the show. Yeah, I, it's kind of hard to describe what he looks like in Game of Thrones because he's always bundled up. But it was funny seeing him in this role. It wasn't the same guy, but it looked like him. Yeah, could have been. <laughs> could have been. Could have been. Should have been. Yeah. But anyways, uh, so did you didn't like uh, the plot with Alyssa finding out about her brother? Brother. No. Why? Uh, because now it's like that that woman turned them in right right the brother's mom turned in James and Alyssa to the detective so like what's going to come of her and her little brother to me I guess I would want to know like is that her I guess it's not her stepmom, but, like, that lady who turned him in. Like, why is she such a bitch to Alyssa? She doesn't even know Alyssa. Was she a bitch to Alyssa? She turned her in. And she was, like, I don't know. Well. She was, like, bitching at her dad in that bar about, you need to give me money, da 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 She just seemed like a bitch. Did she say you need to give me money? Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't, I didn't realize she needed all that money stuff. But, I mean, she does have this kid. She does have his kid, but she also sees where he that he lives in a trailer. He's not doing anything for himself. She shouldn't try to force him to do shit for a kid he doesn't want to do shit for. Right. <laughs> That's my stomach. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just didn't like... I didn't like her. I didn't like that character. And it seemed pointless to even have the little boy thrown in there. Okay. Like, well, why not just leave it as dad's bitch girlfriend? Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, I think they 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 wanted to nail the coffin on this guy because as soon as you met him, she was like, "This guy is no, this guy is no right guy." And mm-hmm. sorry, that was a terrible accent. Anyway, <laughs> uh, this guy is an all right guy. Yeah, and uh, no, he's not. And you find out little by little, like the domino is falling. He is not a good guy, and. What is was the first one? First, you should have known by the knife throwing. You know what I did like? What? When, at the end, when Alyssa's like, no, I need to talk to him for a minute. And she was like, why did you send me all those birthday cards? Oh, yeah. And then she finds out it was actually her mom sending them to her, mm-hmm. for, pretending that they were from her dad. Right. Because her mom didn't want her to be hurt yeah. by it, you right. know? And, yeah. It's kind of like in that fucking moment she realizes that her mom's not. In that fucking moment. <laughs> Sorry. In that moment. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's appropriate. Mo- <laughs> she realizes in that moment her mom's not like a bitch like she thought she was. Yeah. Her mom does love her. It's just her mom is a bitch. <laughs> I think we we could have used more time with the parents while the kids were with her 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 her, her dad. Yeah. That would have been a good utilization of that time. Like, just so we got a little bit of something that the mom was thinking. You know? Yeah. The The mom seemed like she barely gave a shit. The stepdad didn't give a shit. James is dead. I felt really bad for him. But I had no insight to what he was thinking, really, besides that I he was... I do feel bad for James' dad, but I feel like if there's a season two, I feel like there's going to be a twist there. You think that he was... Uh, he, something he was doing something wrong. I don't know. Maybe he was cheating on James' mom, and that's it, why she. 
yeah, we still haven't found out why why James is so pissed because why his mom wanted to commit suicide. The uh, yeah, I, I don't know. We really don't know. Um. So, uh, uh, what what else? What else? Uh, episode eight. Yeah, he had said that he had wished that his father passed and not his mom, which yeah. is kind of crazy, you know. It yeah, and it uh, seems that we his, still we kind of found <clears throat> out a lot about Alyssa and why she feels the way she feels or why she shouldn't feel this way, but we didn't find out shit about James. Right. Right. Um. Sorry, I'm just getting comfortable. Don't look at me funny. <laughs> what were you going to say? Sorry, I'm just trying to... When I, get a, when I get a little of silence, I can edit it better. <clears throat> so, uh, episode... Eight. What did you think about the very end? I liked it. Yeah? I wish I knew whether he was shot or not. Because I feel like I don't know even if you tell me he was. I don't so, want James to get shot. Seeing your reaction when they were shooting at James. I <laughs> I thought I, I thought you were Alyssa for a second. No, James! Oh, <laughs> I don't want oh, him. No. I don't want him to get shot. James! Because he, he goes... Today is my 18th birthday, and then all of a sudden it was he, it was a flash from yeah. the past. I felt like I had went through the roller coaster ride with them. Yeah, I, and I mean I don't know. I didn't want him to get shot. That when they spliced in him with uh, meeting her, and then going to the diner and dancing, and then killing the guy, and then doing this, and driving her in the car, and then yeah. meeting his father, uh, meeting her father, and this. All these different things. It felt like we had been on the journey. Yeah. And I th- I think that that was worth it. That flash at the end was worth the entire thing. Yeah. 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 Um, I wish the kids would have, like, just went with the detective, though. Instead of just right there at the end, just going insane and smacking two people with a gun and stabbing her dad's leg. Like, why couldn't y'all just... <sighs> Calm the fuck down and go with the detective and I like I almost wished like her father went like crazy and the detective had to like do a shootout with him or something like that you know yeah and a diversion something that wouldn't have diverted it but I don't know if it would have landed at the end Mm -hmm. you know the thing about the very end is him running off I might I wasn't crazy about stab and then two people getting slapped with a gun yeah. it kind of seemed a little hand you know they're like in the writer's room how do we get this to happen uh, hit him with the gun no and then no oh, james needs to get away hit him with the gun no yeah. it's, it's like what hold on first it was Alyssa who hit the detective with the gun wasn't I, it yeah it just seemed a little too uh contrived For a little one, bit one Alyssa grew some balls right there at the end Stabbing her dad in the leg. Alyssa's always been crazy. She's, <laughs> but she wasn't the one acting, like doing any, you know. Yeah. Like James stabbed the dude in the neck and immediately realized he did not want to kill people. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, and he was like staring at him. Like I thought some of those, some of those episodes at the beginning are so strong. You know, I like I I want to rewatch those. You know. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to like the last three. Mm-hmm. I'm a little bit hesitant to. I mean, I loved six, you know. And the music. I don't. I mean, I kind of. I. I'm glad that James stopped that guy. I hate that people even give it like a second by the eyes to be like, "Oh well, he's a dangerous kid. He's killing a freaking pedophile, man." Yeah, a, a serial something or another. Yeah. A serial monster. He, you know. Tying students up and... Making them do crazy shit. Making them do stuff and abusing them. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. Well, he needed to die. Yeah. I think he deserved it. And I think he deserved to lay in his floor with all those disgusting pictures around him, too. <laughs> yeah. That was that was pretty crazy. And his mom was a bitch. I hated her. Yeah. The, the only... Just 
some minor details about like why did James leave his knife there? He put it in the thing. Remember thinking that no one would find it. That is a ridiculous hiding spot. You it were... was a ridiculous hiding spot, but I remember seeing the detectives and all those people going through it and in my mind I was like what would make you go there? I mean that I mean they they check everything within like when a murder they're not just like oh there's a murder let's check 10 feet away they gotta check every fucking thing yeah yeah um, that that just i think my weapon my weapon would go with me until i was so far out of the area where i killed this person and then i would probably bury it somewhere people wouldn't think to find it you destroy the weapon you don't put it right next to the body downstairs next to the pool you put it in the little filter so stupid you put it in the filter you dumb find it. dumb your handprints are on it you're just stupid uh-uh. some you're gonna get tracked it's, it's just dumb I don't know I, I figured the chlorine the chemicals in the pool would have killed any trace of fingerprint or anything no you need like special chemicals you like don't know. Oh, I've seen Breaking Bad. Oh God, I'm well, certified. Seen Bad. I've you know seen you know all five mean. seasons of The Wire and Breaking Bad. <laughs> you don't know, Deadly. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Do you think you could do what James did? Absolutely fucking not. No, I'd be fucked. Oh, what do you mean, stab the guy? Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't stab the guy. I would just remove him. I'm, I'm like. A bigger guy I'm bigger than that guy so it wouldn't take much for me to and I wouldn't take me as long good lord James was taking his time he was freaking taking a nap under the bed while Alyssa was about to get <laughs> so, so I was like damn it James get your ass move your ass with your feet <laughs> you've been wanting to do this now do it that's what I thought. Yeah, I thought, like, hey, you, you know, prime fucking time, man. You've been wanting to kill somebody. Damn it, I would have stabbed the first guy she brought in. The black guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't stab someone out of jealousy. You oh, do it because they're hurt. I would be like, all right, that's it. <laughs> it was going to be her, but now it's... <laughs> <laughs> now it's this fucker. Yep. Don't ask her. <laughs> <laughs> that that guy, oh my goodness! He even walked in and he was like, "Am I on Dateline or something like that?" Yeah. Like, <laughs> Someone gonna pop out of the closet? Yeah, <laughs> like gotcha, you take me to jail. gotcha. <laughs> oh my goodness! I am surprised that James didn't. He was very calm for a kid who thought he wanted to kill someone. He wasn't like feigning to kill anybody. Yeah, it was a. Uh... He just kind of clarified himself as a psychopath in the first episode, and I really don't think he is. No. I think he just thought he did. Thought he wanted to. Yeah. I mean, maybe he, you know, hadn't felt any kind of emotion since his mom died, so maybe he's thinking, like... He wanted to kill somebody. Well, he was killing animals. Mm-hmm. I guess the killing animals thing made you really... You don't really know what you, like, what you are capable of or what you actually want to do until you go do some crazy shit I guess is what oh yeah what happened with James you see I think they could have easily just they didn't have to cover the body up did they I guess because they broke in I yeah. I mean at the minimum I don't know what do you think what? I, I've never heard of anyone breaking into a serial murderer's house and then murdering the murderer and then I mean they had to get away somehow I know but it's just like for one, I wouldn't have broken into someone's house and been like, this is fine. We'll stay here. Yeah. Because that guy was like, is this your house? And she was like, sorry. I'm tired. She was like, we're squatting. <laughs> I'm like, like, yeah, that's illegal. <laughs> You're going to get caught. <laughs> yeah. That that guy was crazy to walk into that. I, you, you do not walk into someone's house that's not yours with an underage girl and then yeah, all of that. Yeah, the underage girl it, says we're squatting here. Yeah, that guy... You turn the hell around. That guy is asking to either be murdered or be thrown in jail. Yeah. Like some crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, anyways... Any last minute thoughts on the the end of the, the end of the world? I'm trying to think. Mm. Um, 
anything I did or didn't like or thought could be different. The detectives. What do you think about the detectives? I didn't like that whole cliche of, like, the one detective being like, no, sorry, we shouldn't have done what we done. Sorry, shouldn't have done it. And then, like, the last freaking episode, she's like, do you want to share a room? No, bitch. No, I'm glad the other one said no. But you were, like, excited for that. You were like, yeah. Mm-mm, fuck you. That's, yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm glad that she did it. I'm glad that she was like, well, it sounds like after kind of throwing herself at her for yeah. a little bit, she so they, finally was like, no, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Tell her to fuck off. Make her sleep in a room by herself. <clears throat> well, I think she did that on purpose because she left her in the morning, too. Yeah. Because she left her to yeah, get... Yeah, because you know what? Because your job is more important <laughs> than getting to sleep with the detective. Yeah, but... And she had a different, you know... Viewing on the whole situation, she didn't want the reaction that the other detective was going to give. She didn't want it to happen. She wanted to help him. Well, I, yeah, I I know what you mean. She the other the the one that stayed back that didn't go after him. She wanted them to get like max jail time and everything. She was like, James is a uh, eighteen murder. today and, and a murderer, and he needs to go full you know he needs to be tried as an adult he needs to be yeah but i don't think they're calculating this guy's got a lot of mental problems who james yeah i think he has he could plead insanity i think i'm not really sure how the legal system works over i'm assuming it's in england or something like that right i don't know i don't know if anyone's over in england y'all could explain to us what what the legal system's like over there that would greatly help because we don't even know we have yeah, no idea. No I mean, idea. yeah, no idea. Uh, but, uh... Guilty! Guilty of what? Guilty of being a murderer. He is guilty of murder, but it was self-defense. Self-defense murder. I'd murder someone in self-defense. You know, I'm I'm all about, you know, let, you know, like... Like you said, just get them away, get them off of the person or whatever. And then stab, 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 stab. Yeah. Stab, and then jab. Stab, stab. Jab. <laughs> jab, jab. <laughs> I just, I just tried to think like if it was, I don't ever, I don't ever know what a female would do if it was <laughs> like, if your boy, if you all of a sudden you're like having to hide and you realize your boyfriend's been raped. Your boyfriend's being raped? Yeah. What? <laughs> like if it was vice versa than what it was in the movie. Oh, Alyssa would have stabbed the guy as soon as he walked in the door. No, before he even, no, it's uh, not a guy. It's what I'm saying. Like, oh, it's, it's a female raping. Yeah. So, like, what would have Alyssa? What would Alyssa have done if it was like an older lady like doing that to James? That would have been a plot twist. I hope that's season two. Oh. What do you <laughs> think? Like, what would a female do? I hope a female kidnaps James and takes him hostage, and Alyssa has to go on covert ops mission <laughs> in a black wig this time and rescue James with and the help of Frodo. Pull, you know what? With that dress and that jacket, she just needs to pull an 11 and shave her head. Oh. <laughs> Enjoying for, with Frodo. Yeah. He can be the wheel man. Make him cut his hair. Yeah. <laughs> Put some glasses on because he's undercover. Yeah. I'm sure he's in jail right now. We're going to find James. <laughs> We're going to find James. We're all psychopaths. I'm going. Are you coming with me or not? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's probably that's better than mine. I can't do it. I can't do accents. I can't do. Accents. You really can't. You shouldn't try. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> and just bang. You do okay. I would like to. I try. Just don't do a good job at. Mrs. Hughes. <laughs> you know, it's the only thing you ever say oh my God. with an accent. Oh, that's all I ever hear. <laughs> what happened to talking like this the whole time? We didn't do it. Lord Grantham of we're House not, Baloney. We're not talking about Downton Abbey. That's House Baloney, I swear to God. <laughs> Not Downton Abbey. <laughs> Alright, you have to tune in to the Downton Abbey podcast. Well, we haven't done that yet. Oh, we're talking about the other people. No, well, we're gonna the other podcast. Yeah, well, I'm I'm just just giving them like a uh, you know an update on what's coming down the tube 
what's coming down the pipe, what's coming in the Amazon Prime show. <laughs> you know? So crazy. It's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so uh, I think we're going to try to finish up all of Downton Abbey. We've finished almost two seasons. five full seasons. I thought we were on six. That, oh, that's almost five full seasons. Hold on, how many seasons are there? Six. <laughs> Six. There was eight. <laughs> oh my gosh! There's not eight seasons. And no. I'm always the one that never knows how many. Yeah, I had to. Uh, and then I always think that there's more, and I'm so disappointed. <laughs> well, you always disappoint me. Oh, thank you, thank <laughs> you. Kidding. That's my job. I always ask, like, oh, how many episodes? Or how many more episodes do we got? And you're like, I think we got one more, and then we fucking don't. Oh my goodness! Well, that's <laughs> the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it, because then you start the next season. Drives me insane. You start the next season. I guess we'll start the Downton Abbey podcast next time, because we'll probably be done with that by then. I mean, I I don't we even... We really need to be. We kind of let go of Abbey for, like, a week. Well, it's it six full seasons. We did the full thing. It took us, like, a month, you know? Yeah. So, I appreciate everyone listening to the end of the fucking world, so... <laughs> Uh, until next time. When I was nine, I put my hand in a deep fat fryer. I wanted to make myself feel something. School was beneath me, but it was a good place for observation and peace. Peace out, mates. Au revoir. <laughs> I'm James. This is the Lucky Dog Podcast. You fucking bloke. <laughs> what is a bloke? I had a plan. I was going to kill someone. Hey. I've seen you skating. You're pretty shit. Fuck off. Working all day with my mind on fire. I can't stop thinking of you. I kind of think I could fall in love with him. I thought she could be interesting to kill, so I pretended to fall in love with her. I'm James. <laughs>